In this video, you will see behind the scenes of how to make a newscast. You will see a producer, Chris Willis, who has wrote the script along with Chad Wilson. You will also see the on-air talent voicing the stories. You will also see Bosots and packages and see our weather guy. This is to show the intertwining of how a newscast from the full director to the director, how they communicate. It also shows how the talent responds to said direction. It also shows how the camera is operated during a newscast at Chattanooga State. Quiet on set. Jim should start me on five. Ten. Nine, Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, one. Take camera two with P2 and date. Are students able to tough it up? Stand, Stand by for SSD. Those stories and more on today at Chat State. Take SSD. Stand by for camera two with names in P1, Chat State, Stand by for camera two with names in P1. Hi, I'm the camera too with Q1 I'm and So Neil, are you hanging in there after spring break? I sure am. I was hoping to break out the old swimming trunkies, but it's a little too cold for that. Swimming trunkies. Stand by for Here's package. Here's what some media technology yeah, students it. did over spring break. <laughs> at my super unimportant job of data processing for an international insurance corporation. I went to Panama, Florida. I got to see Luke Bryan. I got to see Polly D at Club La Vila. Um, I got to be a part of the biggest Harlem Shake at MTV Beach Bash. That was awesome. And hang out with some really great friends. I think I tried to beat four video games and I got halfway through one. All I did was work extra hours at Big River Grill, so. Was that fun? I party all spring break. I'm just now finished. I got my wisdom teeth pulled. Spring break, I hang out, did the most couple yards, and had a birthday party. I worked extra hours. Where do you work? Stand by for camera one. one. Getting out of this girl named Dodger Nay. It took her on a couple on dates. Uh, after that, okay, we had a good five, time and four, I returned her. Three, I worked all week two, one. Facebook has been Take camera one with OTS, Facebook, one billion stand by SSD. One that draws upon your connections to better sort through information like photos and the like. Karen Kafka got answers from the social networking side stand about by package. and what it means to your privacy in this week's Clicked In. Take SSD. Hey, uh, good job. Charlotte, can you zoom your camera out just a little bit? Stand by for camera three. Right there, that's good. Oh, wait, I and maybe uh, camera three on Connie. Can you zoom out just a hair, just a tiny bit? Right there. Really good. This is going good. For example, movies my friends like, or cafes in Washington my friends visited. You also get to see who likes Stand what. For right three. now the function is only available to a small group of beta users, but you can sign up for a wait list. We're rolling this out very slowly because um, we want to get feedback from people. We want to make sure this is something that's great. For those concerned about friends of friends seeing personal information, it's worth clicking on the padlock icon on the login screen and reviewing and adjusting privacy settings on posts past and future, and what's seen by friends and publicly. I'm Karen Kepa, and you're now Audio. Audio. Sir, advice to please be your signed advisor. Do not know who your advisor is. Stand Check by your academic everyone. profile box on your Tiger Web to get their contact information. Or call the advising office at 423-697-4483. Don't delay about setting up classes Take for Take camera one with OTS football. campus. Stand by SSD. It's almost that over. time of year again when we recognize outstanding clubs and organizations. On April 4th, the Hats Off to Excellence Awards will take place celebrating students who went over and beyond this year. We will find out who will win the prestigious Club of the Year Award. Will our very own media Stand by for camera three. two years in a row? So take care. Last month, Chattanooga held its first mm -hmm. snowboarding competition. Oh, yes. It was called the okay, Chattanooga Rail Jam, and our very own Mark Tomlinson has more. Thanks, guys.
If you were to tell someone that you were going snowboarding in Chattanooga, you might get a funny look. But this local restaurant decided to put on Chattanooga's first ever snowboarding contest, the Chattanooga Rail Jam. When most people think of skiing and snowboarding, they think of perfect white snow and pretty little lodges. But some people think differently. The folks at Dodge City Ski Shop, Mellow Mushroom, and Sweetwater Brewery all brainstormed and came up with a bright idea that Chattanooga needed to have their own snowboarding contest. Their brainstorming gave birth to a 14-foot tall monster drop-in with a kicker at the bottom followed up by a 12-foot long rail. Men and women alike from all over Chattanooga came to shred the gnar. I invited this competitor, Cecil Brown, out to my ranch for a little bit of an interview after the contest, just to get his take on things. So it says here you traveled from Contacook, New Hampshire for the event. Uh, yes, sir. That's right. Uh, it's actually Kentucky, New Hampshire. Yes, that, that's how I said it. Uh, no. Kentucky, New Hampshire? That's the exact pronunciation I used. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah. So, what were your thoughts on Chattanooga's first snowboarding event? Well, it was, it was great to come down and catch it, check it out. Uh, lots of good people there. It was, um, you know, it was the first one. I had to check it out, and I, um, I, I thought it was really great. Um, it was set up pretty well. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? I, I lost you there. I really thought it was a great thing to bring to the South. Um, you know, being from New England, never would have thought anything like that down here, but I heard about it, had to come down right off to check it out. Compared to other competitions you've been in, how technical was this course? Well, I mean, uh, to be honest with you, it was, uh, it was quite quite intense. Uh, you know, we had the steep drop in there from the start, huge kicker at the bottom of it, sending you right into that rail, man. I mean, it was probably one of the gnarliest I've ever ridden personally. So, Cecil, all in all, was it worth the trip? Well, uh, to be honest with you, this was the furthest I've traveled for a uh, competition that I've done. And... Oh, one second, please. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I guess, yeah, it was worth the trip. Uh, I felt like I got a little robbed there at the end. Um, thought I caught the judge's eye, but uh, it turned out they were looking for something different down here. That's right, they were looking for something different, and they found that in rider number seven, Ryan Shimoski. Not only did this husky fellow win first place, he also won a vacation to Sweetwater's Brewfest in Atlanta. Hope we see you out here next year for Chattanooga's Rail Jam number two. Four, and I'm Mark Tarleton signing out. Two, and remember, one. Stand by for downhill camera traffic one. always has the right of way. Take camera one with OTS. Are you ready to BS. celebrate live student films? It's time again for the annual Broad Street Film Festival, which is dedicated to showing college students short films. Among Stand the issues this year will be the media club short film entitled Cyborg Hijab. <laughs> Take SSD, stand by for camera one. So, Earl, where's my car these days? Well, I ain't seen him in years. Really? Because your ex-wife says different. That bitch. So, Earl, what's it going to be? Taste the silver bullet or tell me what I need to know? Come on, Earl. It's the least you know, intimidating guy I've ever seen in years. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Johnny, he meets down with a couple of fellas down at the on, on Thursday to discuss further business matters. Look, then that's all I know. Well, looks like I'm heading to Piggy's. Not the first time I've said that, actually. Tell me, like, which one? Thanks a bunch, Rob. Yeah, don't mention it. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. The Broad Street Film Festival takes place on Thursday, April 11th at 8 p.m. For more information, go to broadstreetfilmfestival.blogspot.com.
Stay Camera 3 with OTS Film. Students on campus interested in filmmaking may also want to know more about the professional film and television training classes here at Chattanooga State. Stand by Camera 1. In the one. past, students have worked on short films and produced feature length film in the summer and fall. Oh, you can your hats off. For more information about these classes, yeah. contact Chris. Take Lewis Camera 1 with at OTS 423 and stand by for SSD. 31 or by email at chris.willis at chattanoogastate.edu. Or by Twitter handle. It was a busy weekend for sports fans, from the heated battle of March Madness basketball to tearing up the tracks in NASCAR. Jacob Sherrill has the details. Take SSD, standby camera two. Chattanooga Sports, this is Jay. Final eight starts the Sweet 16 online. In the South Region, Florida Gulf Coast beat San Diego State 81 to 71 to become the first ever 15 seed to reach the Sweet 16. Bernard Thompson leads the Eagles with 23 points. They will face third seed Florida on Friday. In the West Region, 10th yeah, seed Iowa State start and start second seed Ohio up. State tied at 75. Aaron Kraft nails the three-pointer as the time expires sent Ohio State to the oh. straight trip to the round of 16. Also in the West, 13th seed Lasalle beat the 12th seed Ole Miss 76 to 74 to advance. Tyrone Berlands layup with three seconds left was the difference in the game. They will face Wichita State on Thursday. Top seed in the East, Indiana rallied down the stretch to beat Temple 58 to 52. Cooper closed out the game on a 10-0 run. Victor Aldebaros three pointer with 15 seconds left sealed the win. Next up, Syracuse on Thursday. No Dwayne Wade, no problem for the Heat as they beat the Bobcats 109-77 to stretch their winning streak to 26 games. LeBron James leads the way with 32 points, 8 rebounds, and 10 assists. They go to the 27th straight Monday night against the Magic. In NASCAR, things got a little crazy at the Sprint Cup Series race in California. On the final lap, Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano were battling for position. They bump and Hamlin heads into the wall. He would be taken from the track in an ambulance. After the incident, Tony Stewart and Logano get into the shoving match and have to be separated. Kyle Busch took the checkered flag for the first Sprint Cup win of the season. Final round of the Arnold Palmer invitation had to be postponed until Monday due to the severe weather in the Orlando area. Tiger Woods got through two holes before he played with Hulk. He will start Monday with three stroke lead. Okay, take camera two. Stand by for MLE. Look at this week's weather with Chattanooga State's most eligible bachelor mark. Take MLE. Well, cloudy out there today and uh, low this week of uh, 43 on Wednesday and then slightly warmer into the weekend. But you know, if it's not chilly and if it's chilly and no precipitation, I don't really mind it. Back to you guys. Take camera two. Oh. Let's keep it real. Thanks, Mark. Stand by for baby camera four. Say, please check us out online. Have a great day. Take camera four. Fade audio, fade to black. You didn't say it's going to be a bad. <laughs> <laughs>